Listen, you have got to get into your leader's head. If I could say that in a way so we don't sound like we're new agers here. Amen. You've got to get into their head to be able to calculate their moves. Amen. You should be able to calculate. Amen. If a person begins to run a new idea by you, you should be able to say, mm -mm, that's not going to work. Well, what you mean is not going to work? I've been with the man. I, I tell you what, you try it. <laughs> but I'll make sure I'm across the room when you're doing it. <laughs> Amen. So when you get the spirit of your mentor, you'll be able to know how they like things. Amen. When you, if, 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 if they begin to ask you, if he's getting ready to take a trip, they begin to ask, you should be able to answer every question without keep ringing the phone every five minutes and say, um, hold on a minute, I got so-and-so on the line. They want to know if, no, you should be able to make decisions. And the decision should be favorable. Now, we had other individuals that would make decisions, but they would always make the wrong decision. They were overhelpful, but very unhelpful. <laughs> Amen. Okay. So getting the spirit of the leader, it has is something that cannot be taught. It's got to be caught. Please stop the tape and answer the study questions at the end of the chapter in your workbook. Let's go to chapter 15, the double portion. Now the principle of the double portion is exemplified in 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse 2. And we begin to see here, and we'll begin reading here, um, here in verse 1. Can and read. it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel, and the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho, and the sons of the prophets that were there at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. Good. Now, in verse 1, it depicts a transition of the school of the prophets. Elijah was about to be taken away from the prophets. These prophets were in groups called the schools of the prophets and it was in four different locations under Elijah. Another thing we need to understand is that everything that is revealed to someone, that means that you are not anointed to articulate it. Right. Amen. Yeah. There was four different locations. One location was Gilgal, which means the circle. And sometimes with your mentor, you'll be going around in a circle in a place of boredom. Amen. <laughs> but stay there. There was another place called Bethel, which means the house of God. And one thing I found about the different ministries and also prophetic orders, you have those that are in-house and those that are out-house. Uh -oh. My grandparents had an out-house where you didn't have that which was in-house, and the out-house had a stench to it that wasn't conducive to the house. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, do you have an in-house ministry? You have an in-house ministry? Or an out-house ministry. Or an out-house ministry. Amen. You can always tell those out-house ministries because there's an aroma that follows it. That everywhere they go, they leave some stink. <laughs> the third school of prophets was located at Jericho, which was like the place of the curse or the place of a fragrance. 
The fourth place was Jordan, which is the place of death or separation. And I want to tell you something. It was at Jordan when the separation seemingly began. Now, the key of the double portion is found in servanthood. Amen. And this is illustrated in 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 19 to 21. Begin reading. So he departed thence and found Elisha the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen before him, and he with the twelve. And Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. Okay, underline that right there, cast his mantle on him. Continue reading. And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Let me, I pray thee, kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow thee. And he said unto him, Go back again, for what have I done to thee? And he returned back from him and took a yoke of oxen and slew them and boiled their flesh for, with the instruments of the oxen and gave unto the people, and they did eat. Then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered unto him. Good. Notice that this man of God was being called Elisha to walk in the prophetic order. Notice what Elijah did, cast his mantle on him. What is a mantle? It's like a coat, right? Yes. Okay. So, therefore, <laughs> I like to look at it this way, Apostle. He says, I want your anointing. He says, good, you come on in the road and just carry my luggage, carry my mantles. <laughs> in other words, it wasn't some spiritual thing where he laid hands on them and says, let this coat of anointing fall on you right now. And he jumped up and started prophesying and giving the word of the Lord. No, no, no. He was ministering unto Elijah. Amen. Amen. And I don't believe he was ministering unto him by laying hands on him saying, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. <laughs> Amen. He wasn't ministering to him in tongues and interpretation, but the ministry was in serving. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. if you want the anointing, you want the anointing. it's going to cost you some service. It's going to cost you some service. Amen. Now, to receive the double portion, we must know three basic principles and allow them to become exemplified in our lives. Number one, Elisha was in the school of Elijah. School is a place of discipline, a place of training, and Elisha was under the hand of Elijah. Number two, Elisha was a son of the prophet, and you cannot receive the spirit of the leader until you are able to see that leader as your father. As long as you see that individual as your equal, you will never receive their spirit or anointing. Mm. There's sometimes people go around calling their pastors brothers or calling their pastors by the first name. I don't believe that's the order of the kingdom of God. Even no. Jesus' disciples always called him rabbi or master. Amen. Amen. When you do not call your pastor by either elder or whatever office of ministry that there are, do you not know you are crushing that authority? Yes. Amen. Amen. Number three, Elisha was submitted to Elijah. The sons of the prophets were not out doing their own thing. They worked within the structure of the corporate vision. They supported Elijah. They did not work against him. And we begin to see the transference of Elijah's spirit to Elisha. Let's begin reading there. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters. And they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven, and Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. Good. Now hold it right there. 
He asked number one for the double portion. The double